most of the time what you hear about India is that there are only a few pockets of wealth and it doesn't really percolate down. No, to I think that's a cliche. Uh, that's oversimplified. The, the reality is that we've had a growth rate which is between 6 and 7 percent now for 30 years. And uh, you don't do that for 30 years without it touching everybody. And, and so I think, yes, some people certainly get a disproportionate gain from it. Uh, but, you know, 1% of the poor have been crossing the poverty line every year for 30 years. Uh, the middle class, of course, is exploding. It was about 8% of the population in 1980. Today, it's 32% of the population and probably will cross 50% by 2020. So, I personally think that everybody's getting affected. You know, you can see it around you. People who are walking are on bicycles. People who are on bicycles are now on two-wheelers, scooters. And people on two-wheelers are in, are in uh, Marutis, and Marutis are in bigger cars. Our need in India is not to think about inequality. We should think about poverty. That if we can keep raising people above poverty, and, and, uh, and I think that's the best answer when you have high growth and you want the poor also to gain, then I think the crucial need for education at the lowest level, functioning schools and functioning primary health centers. If you can give education and health, then I think the people will themselves find ways. I mean, ideally, it would be good to give some training also, vocational training, etc. But people find ways to do it.